What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Montana State Bobcat Dynasty and today we're going to be kicking off Season 6 and we're going to be playing against the Duke Blue Devils. Taking a quick look at their roster, their quarterback Stephen Hunter. He's in the 70s. He's an okay quarterback. Uh, just you know, looking at their roster and, and, all, and all that stuff. They are a better team. They have higher overall players and whatnot. But they're not that much of a higher overall than the Bobcats, about five points higher, I guess, at some positions or whatnot. As you're seeing here, they got a couple 87s. I believe our best players are 82s, so that's not really great. But I think we could definitely match up with them. They don't have a great secondary, very similar to us. I feel like they're a pretty similar built team like us that has an impact running back they like to run first and then they also got a solid linebacking core but uh, not a great secondary really i guess they, they're only good linebackers their middle linebacker as you saw their outside linebackers not great their defense isn't great i'm hoping to run the ball a lot here with uh, adriano as he is now our starting running back and he put together a fantastic season last year behind Deshaun Ralph, so I'm excited to see what he can do as a starter for us. So while um, they are a higher overall, we are ranked higher than them as you saw on the loading screen there. So hopefully we can come away with a victory as I guess we are technically slight favorites. Brooks is going to run the football for them on second down as Duke is going to start off today's game with the football. He goes nowhere. And then on third down, great job by this defense getting the stop, forcing a three and out. That's the way to start off a season. Adriano to the right side. He picks up about nine yards on the ground, but tack on five more because of a face mask penalty. I will very much take that. And we're already going to be across midfield on just our second play from scrimmage there. Second down, John Spencer is under some immediate pressure, rolling to his left. He's going to run and pick up about five yards. Third and two, the Bobcats are going to run it. Adriano up the middle, spinning around and moving the chains. Out to the 31-yard line. Now here's a draw play for Adriano, but they get him in the backfield for a loss of two. Spencer's moving to his right, and he's going to complete his first pass of the season to Gerard Doolin, setting up third down and eight. Spencer looking to pass, and he goes down. Sacked there by the linebacker. Just no one even bothered to block him at all. And despite the good start to this drive here, we're going to end up getting nothing as it's fourth down and 17, and we are outside of field goal range. So the Blue Devils now have the football again, and they pick up one yard on first down. On second down, a little bit of a trick play here as the running back throws the football, but it's a very ugly pass, and it ends up getting dropped. Hunter's going to throw the ball on third down, and he's going to connect with Joseph on the right side there, converting the third down. A toss to the right for Brooks, and we are all over that in the backfield, forcing a loss of five. Second and 15, they're going to run the football with Brooks here, and he's going to pick up that lost yardage, plus a little bit more. Third down and eight, Stephen Hunter's looking to throw the football back across his body. He's got Tate and the big, I believe, tight end, that is, picks up the first down and gets them across the 50. Last play of the first quarter, Brooks is going to get the handoff, but this Montana State defense was ready and didn't allow him to go anywhere. Now they're going to try a little bit of a screen. Tate again on the reception, trying to find somewhere to go, but he's going to end up losing a yard. That's going to make this third down and 11, and Hunter's going to be sacked. Corey Rovaro, the fantastic pass rusher for Montana State, is going to get his first sack of the season, and that's going to keep this at a scoreless game as Duke is going to have to punt the football. We got Greco back there returning this punt, spinning away from one defender, spinning away from a group of more defenders, juke and a bunch of defenders out and finally brought down at the 27. If he breaks that last tackle, he could be going to the crib. Second and 12 after we lose a couple of yards on first down. John Spencer's moving to his right. He's going to throw off his back foot and he's got Nate Charles wide open. We're going to need a lot from Nate Charles this season. He only had one catch all of last year, but that's because he was pretty far down there on the depth chart. But now this season, he's going to be one of our top receivers and we're going to need him to play like one. Second and five after that nice run there from Adriano. Brian Brown's turn to get the football. He goes right up the middle and gets us out to the 20. Trying to set up the screen now for Greco, but they are all over that there. Duke was ready and forced a loss of four. 
On second down, Montana Skate's going to spread things out here. Throwing to the right hand. An incomplete pass intended for Munoz. Spencer needs to do a better job of setting his feet in those kind of situations. Now on third down, the pass is going to be intercepted as it got tipped up into the air. I believe we were looking for Michael Ryan, the tight end on that play. An unfortunate tip, though. John Spencer, he's a good quarterback, but even if the pass isn't tipped there, there's still a couple of defenders near the tight end. It probably would have been uh, still incomplete or maybe even intercepted that way. So he's got a good arm, but I don't think he can quite fit it in there. Inside of two minutes, now we are still scoreless. Duke is trying to change that and try to get points off the turnover. And this is going to help as Kidd makes the reception. And he is not even kidding. He's going to take it to the crib. Touchdown, Blue Devils. A 67-yard catch and run there for Kidd. And we finally have points on the board. Montana State's going to try a two-minute drill. Spencer looks to throw, but he coughs up the football. Daniels is there for the recovery, and Duke gets the football at the 11-yard line. The last two offensive plays for the Montana State Bobcats have been John Spencer turnovers. That is not a good look. Second and eight after they pick up two yards on the ground. They're going to run it again with Brooks, and he's going to go untouched to the end zone. Touchdown, Blue Devils. The fans are loving it here. And just like that, we went from scoreless to being down by 14. Still a minute, 20 left on the clock. Montana State wants to get something on the board. What a catch by Jake Munoz making his first appearance of the season, getting us across midfield. The senior wide receiver showing us why he's one of the best receivers we've had in this series. Spencer's looking to throw again, looking for Munoz again, who makes another grab, gets away from one defender, and is Russell down inside of the run zone. They're going to mark him down at the seven. Spencer looking to throw again, moving to his right. He's, he didn't really have anyone open initially. He, there he had Doolin in the back of the end zone, but uh, he had to make that throw on the run, and it was inaccurate. Now Spencer's running to his right. The ref kind of messes him up there. Uh, you, you need his scramble drill and whatnot, but that's where I really just got to throw it away. Taking a shot to the end zone on third down. Too high for Charles. But we are in field goal range for Harry Williams. His kick is up. It is good. And that is going to be our first points of the season. And that is going to send us to the half where we are going to be down 14-3. Luckily, we do have the football to start off the second half. We can get back to our bread and butter now of running the football, though it's not going very well on second down. Third and seven, first to throw, and Spencer had a man open on the slant route. Couldn't quite get it to him, and unfortunately, the Bobcats are going to go three and out. Brady makes this reception here as uh, we put a lot of pressure on the quarterback, but he was able to evade it, get it out to his man. Another good catch and run for this Blue Devil offense. A toss to the left for Brooks, who's going to get around the defense here, and he's going to get brought down at the five-yard line. This defense feels like it's kind of getting gassed. They had a good start to this game, forcing a couple of stops, but now it's second and goal from the one. And there they're going to give up another touchdown to Brooks, his second of the day, and that's going to make this a 21-3 ball game. The, the defense has got to do better. The offense has got to do better. Uh, you know, as I said, the defense looks like it's a little gassed right now. But, I mean, you can kind of blame the offense, too, as they weren't taking advantage of all the, the stops the defense was giving them. On first down, or the first uh, play of this drive, we have a nice catch to Munoz on the right side. And then Spencer's going to take off down the left sideline, knocked out of bounds at the 27. Adriano breaks a tackle and picks up four yards on that play. Now John Spencer's looking to throw. He was trying to connect with Ryan, but some tight coverage there forces an incompletion. Third down for MSU. We've got Adriano in the flat, and he's going to convert the third down. We're inside of the red zone now. John Spencer's throwing to the left side there. Couldn't quite fit that pass, and especially since he took a hit as soon as he let the pass go. Spencer looking to throw, but he's going to be sacked yet again. You're really noticing, I bet, the uh, our, our lack of offensive line talent, it seems, as we did lose three offensive linemen last year, two of them to the draft, and one to graduation, I believe, or maybe three of them went to the draft. I don't remember now, but I know both of our tackles ended up going to the NFL. A nice catch for Jake Munoz on third down, but it's, he doesn't quite convert it. Fourth down and inches, a quarterback sneak with it barely gets anything, but we barely even needed anything. John Spencer is going to convert on fourth down. And then first down and goal, Adriano is in the end zone. That is the first Bobcat touchdown of the year. And we're still down by two scores, though. But, you know, it feels like we might have a little bit of life on offense. Not very much on defense as we keep giving up these big runs. 
Brooks to the left side. Another nice run there. Looked like it might not go anywhere at first, but he was able to use his blocking and pick up nine yards. Brooks again with the carry spinning around. Finally wrestled down in MSU territory on that play. But we're having a hard time stopping him on the ground today. And we're having a hard time through the air stopping them too as they complete that pass to Anderson. Into the fourth quarter. Now the Bobcats have a comeback in them. Nice play made there as they try the quarterback draw, but it loses a couple of yards. Hunter throws to the right side. Pressure in his face and it forces an incomplete pass. Third and long for Duke. Hunter's under some pressure there. Gets it out to his receiver and it bounces right off of his hands. We catch a little bit of a break there. And they're going to kick this field goal. It is up. It is good. But it is still just a two possession game. Can John Spencer lead a Bobcat comeback here? He's going to run to the left side. Pick up 10 yards before stepping out of bounds. Spencer's looking to throw to the right side. And once again, too high for Charles. Here's Spencer stepping up into the pocket. He got hit as he let that ball go. It was a wobbler, but Gerard Doolin still able to get underneath it and make the nice catch on that play. Out of the 35-yard line, once again, Montana State's looking to throw. They kind of have to at this kind of a situation. The ground game has not worked the way they wanted it to today. A nice catch there by Gerard Doolin. Really playing well so far today. John Spencer looking to throw now, trying to go to the end zone for Jake Munoz, but it just wasn't there as the pass is broken up. Second down, throwing to the end zone. The pass is going to be tipped and intercepted. White with the assist to himself there. And just some tunnel vision on John Spencer's part. I was really hoping that uh, Michael Ryan was going to be open on that play. I was so sure that he would be. I really wanted to target Ryan more. I feel like he could be a great red zone threat for us. But unfortunately, it gets picked off. And this is going to be the nail in the coffin as our defense cannot tackle Brooks. He takes it all the way to the end zone for a 53-yard rushing touchdown. That's going to make this a 31-10 ball game. We are going to get some garbage time yards here. A nice throw to Michael Ryan, who makes his first appearance of the game. Now his first catch, I should say. Setting up first down and goal. Spencer's looking to throw, and there we get some garbage time points. John Spencer has his first touchdown pass of the season here. Gerald Doolin, that would be, of course, his first uh, touchdown reception. But we're still going to lose 31-17. to Kind of a disappointing game. Definitely a disappointing game. I can't say I was necessarily expecting to win, but I was at least expecting to compete a bit more. We did in the first half until those John Spencer turnovers. He turned the ball over a total of three times today. Both those interceptions coming in the red zone. I mean, you got to think, if we don't turn the ball over, at least in the red zone those two times, it could be a very different game, especially if we don't fumble there at the end of the half, giving them the, a short field to easily get into the end zone. Jake Munoz had a great day, five catches for a buck 20. And then Gerard Doolin, he had the only touchdown reception of the day. The ground game was also kind of disappointing. I was hoping that we'd be able to run the ball a bit better. The defense played okay. We did have one sack on the game. That's going to wrap up this video now. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, this has been Jeffrey reminding you to stay moist.